record a quick video helping remind you how to use the bibliography generator so that you can cite your sources. So here's my copy of the template that we're doing. So uh, what we're going to do is at the very back of the slideshow, it says bibliography four sources. That means you need four different places where you're getting information from. So what you do is I even put the website right here. You do copy and you would paste it in and I've put it in here. I'll start it from scratch to show you all the steps. You check, I only want to create citations, MLA format, and make sure you click on website. Um, earlier today I clicked on journal and it wasn't working properly. So if you're just using regular websites, make sure you click that. Okay, next is you're going to use Google or another search engine and you're going to search your topic. I've chosen my pretend topic as St. Peter's Basilica. Okay. So then I come over to my search. I've searched St. Peter's Basilica. I'm not going to use Wikipedia. Uh, that's sort of the last resort. Uh, I'm going to look for more professional things. So I can use this one, the Britannica. I can use Roma Experience. I'm going to click this RomeMuseum.com thing. So this one has quite a lot of information. So what you do is you come to the top. You copy the web address. You bring it over into our bibme. You do command paste. So copy is command C, paste is command V, or control. Depends on what type of computer. Search website. Okay, it found it. <coughs> okay, so here it has the website title, the website that it came from, when we looked at it, and the article title. Now, if you can find the other information on here, such as the author or the publisher, that's really good. So we're going to take a look together. Now, the publisher is usually in the top bar somewhere. If you look, this one actually is Italy Museum, so I think that's the publisher. So I'm going to add that. Italy Museum. Okay, uh, and we're going to look for a publishing date or an author really quick. Authors are usually listed at the top or the bottom. I don't see one, so I think that's it. All right, so then we're done. We, sit, we come over to our Bibme and we say create citation. And there it is, right here. So you can see I tried to cite it earlier and I used the wrong tab and it messed up, so it didn't have all the information put in there correctly. So we're gonna copy and paste. So make sure that you use this copy paste button. Don't just use control C, control V. And we come over here and we delete all the instructions. We paste in our topic or our citation. Let's do one more. Okay, let's do rome.info. Oh wait, no, it's www.info. Rome info. Okay. All right, so this one also has some information. I just copy the link. I come over to my Bibme page and I do add another citation. Make sure again that it's on website. Paste it in. Search. Select. Okay. Final steps. Let's double check for an author. Don't see one. I don't see any authors. Okay, uh, but I do see that the publisher is Rome.info. Like that's the name of the publishing. So there's no author, but the publisher sponsor is Rome.info. And on the website title, I'm going to take out the publisher part and leave it as just the plain title. Okay, create citation. So this is my newest one right here. I copy and paste, bring it over, and I put it on the slide. Okay, so this is what you do for each of your sources. You need four of them. Let me know if you have questions. Good luck. Bye.